Hi everyone. Good morning. I'm just pulling up my chat right now. So bear with me. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Just waiting to see if anyone's going to join before I get started. Good morning. Hi Tracy. Hi Christina. How's it going? Hi Keisha. How's everyone? Happy Monday. What's everyone up to? Hi Liz. Hi Stacy. What's everyone up to this morning? Is everyone shipping? Listing? Doing something? Hi Sarah. Hi Threadhead. Hi Kim. Good morning everyone. Hi Brooke. Oh, work? Brooke, what kind of work? Like work work? Like a nine to five work? B. Cole, you're eating lunch. Delicious. Keisha's working her full-time job. Rustique, hello. Hello, Monty. How's it going? I've got a big Goodwill outlet haul for you guys today. Um, I went on Friday. So my friend Ty. Hi, Debbie. How's it going? Hi, Jackie. Sorry, I'm going to switch back and forth between saying hello and finishing my story. I apologize. Um, on Friday, I went to the Goodwill bins and hi, Jennifer, my friend Ty had bought a painting there on, wait, what day did I go? Okay, whatever. Anyways, someday last week, Ty had gone to the bins. She bought a piece of artwork and she left it there and she needed me to go pick it up. So I did, but how am I going to go to the bins and not buy anything? That just, that just doesn't happen. So I walked out with 85 pounds. <laughs> Oops. Um, but oh well. I got some good stuff, so I'm happy about that. Uh, uh, uh. Brooke is an 8 to 5 inside sales rep, but hoping to turn reselling into full time. That's awesome. I went from a regular 9 to 5 to full time, so it can be done. Hi, Patty. You're at your part time wishing you could be at home listing. Yeah, I know. Hi, Tracy. How's it going? Okay, so I got, sorry, I'm getting notifications here. I got 85 pounds worth of stuff. I think I paid $103. Now, I was really close to 100 pounds by close, like 15 pounds off. So I paid $1.09 per pound, but if you hit 100, then you only pay 89 cents a pound. So the lady was like, do you want to go back in and grab more stuff? But when I hit the checkout line, I mean, I already I've waited in that checkout line for about 10 minutes, so I'm tired. But when I hit the checkout line, I don't want to go back in. If I was like three pounds away, I would have done it. I would have just grabbed like a down jacket or something, but I couldn't be convinced. So she had told me, I asked what was the price difference. It's mildly significant, but I just couldn't do it. I, for 85 pounds, I paid $103. Had I gone back in for the 100, I would have been, sorry, my dog's barking. <laughs> it would have been $95 or $97. So for 15 extra pounds. Yeah, I couldn't do it. So anyways, um, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Jennifer, can you talk about your decision not to take your turns on eBay? I just turned mine off. So I'm wondering if you have any thoughts. Um, yeah, I turned it off because I, when I, when eBay was encouraging returns last year, um, in spring of last year, I, I took returns 30 days and I just got so many of them and I was having people return them on like the 28th or 29th day, which was not fun for me. So that's why I turned it off. I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. Debbie, you bought a Kate Spade bag for me. I believe I do remember. Thank you for purchasing from me. I appreciate it. Um, okay. All right, Patty, you got 49 pounds. That's awesome. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna get started here. I've got another notification. So the first item that is on top, I kind of sorted things into weird little piles. So there's that. Also, another thing is, I know a lot of times people ask me for, you know, how much do I, it, they want me to say how much I'm gonna sell an item for. I'll, if I know the comps, I'll tell you, but I look up comps on every item that I sell, so I don't feel 110% comfortable telling what comps are when I don't know what they are just yet. 
So forgive me for not doing that. Also, I do sell for my videos. And so I'd, if I say a price that I'm not comfortable with, I'm potentially scaring away a buyer because I priced it too high or I priced it too low and I kind of lock myself into a weird position. So that's another reason why I don't um, always say the prices of things. So yeah, okay. The first item is this ASOS puffer jacket. I'm not sure if this is um, a men's or a women's. Does anyone know, does ASOS sell men's items? I'm guessing that they do. So it's just this kind of shiny black. It's a size small and it kind of looks big for a size small. So that's why I thought maybe it was a men's, but I guess it could be a women's. I don't know. We're definitely going out of the seasons of having a puffer jacket, but I don't know. I picked it up anyway. <laughs> Alyssa, how long did it take me to pick up 85 pounds? I don't know. I think I was there like three hours. I think so. Melissa, you've been doing a lot of lives lately. This is true. It's easier for me to film and then just upload them. So that's why. Okay, the next item is holding horses. So this is sold at Anthropology. This is a size medium. And I love this. It's just like this flowy plaid camisole. It's purple, which is one of my favorite colors. It kind of looks kind of big, so I was tempted to be like, maybe I'll wear this for a while and then sell it, but I'm probably just going to sell it. But I thought this was real fun for summer. So there's that. Hi, Vanessa. How's it going? Okay, the next item is, I think this is maybe pajamas, but I'm not sure. It's Oscar de la Renta pink label, and it's a size large camisole. It's just polyester, but I really loved just the print on here. Oh, this little tie is supposed to be in back. But yeah, that's all it is. It kind of looks like a pajama item. Does anyone know if the pink label is supposed to be like nighttime wear? Uh -uh -uh. Tracy, live interaction with your followers. Yeah, I kind of like being able to talk. It makes me feel less lonely while doing a haul video. <laughs> yes, Keisha, I also hate editing videos so that's another reason that I go live okay this item is a mm, animal print <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head what sort of animal print it is I did just post something about this on Instagram so I'm, I'm gonna have to double check myself sorry I'm trying to figure out where where it starts and where it ends but I'm pretty sure this is lush uh, uh, uh. oh my gosh guys okay here we go I think this way wow okay well it's like a wrap top <laughs> This is Lush and it is sold at Nordstrom. I don't know. There's the tag. Oh, I just got an offer. Yay. It's a size small. I don't know how it goes. Oh, maybe like this. It's like a wrappy top. I don't know. There you go. Uh, hi, Treasure Keeps. How's it going? Oh, you just retracted your message. So, not hi. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, hi again. Patricia, how long do you have to wait to receive your money from sales on Poshmark? Um, once the buyer accepts, or I think it's like two or three days. Yeah. Oh, Keisha just confirmed that. Awesome. Okay, the next item is Hawking's McGill, and this is just a green button-down shirt, button-up shirt. Um, I grabbed it because it does say it is a 66170, which is anthro or urban. So I'm not sure if this is anthro or urban, but it was new to me. I hate this when it gets wrinkly out of the dryer, so now I'm going to have to steam it. I feel like I'm doing double time on cleaning it. Okay, the next item I have is this Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren shirt. I think this one is a men's. Just a buffalo plaid shirt. Denim and Supply has sold at a fairly good price for me. I don't know offhand what that number is, but I do have another item in here that I do know a price on, so I'll tell you that one. Okay, the next item is this Madewell button-down shirt. It's a size medium. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, so it buttons in the front, but then look at this in the back. That's cool. It's got these buttons. I don't know. Buttons. Yay. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, Jasmine. Okay, the next item, this is really fun. This is a Levi's jacket. I always 
for the most part, pick up Levi's jackets when I see them. So this is a Levi's jacket. I don't know how old this one is. It's a size large, but it's like got these bleach stains all over it, which I'm not, I'm guessing this is intentional. Um, this is probably a men's large. There's no other info on here, like no other care tags or anything. So I'm thinking maybe this is like a vintage, vintage piece, but I'll have to look into it a little bit more. Okay. The next item I have, I'm probably going to send these to thread up because they're accepting skirts, spring, summer items, but this is a LuLaRoe skirt size large. I do with the paisley print. I do like picking up LuLaRoe. It does sell for me, so and it also sells on thread up, so let's see. Okay, and then this is another LuLaRoe skirt. I think this is probably also a size large. Nope, this one's a medium. So maybe this was somebody's um, somebody's inventory I was inheriting at the bins. Someone's old inventory as a LuLaRoe rep. Uh-uh-uh. Let's see what else. Next I have a Sonoma dress. So this is Kohl's, I think. I actually grabbed this and I'm gonna wear it on my vacation that's coming up. So just a chevron print, lightweight. It does have a belt, which came off. Okay, this is like a weird little item. I thought it was a skirt when I first grabbed it, like a vintage skirt, but I was holding it upside down. It's a top. So I don't know if this is cute or weird. Oh, my dog's here, another dog. Um, I don't even know what to make of this. <laughs> The tag, let me show you what the tag looks like. I can't read it. Hmm. Can you see that? And then it's got more writing on the back. Mm -mm -mm. It looks like it says find, fr I can't, mm. I don't know. If you know what that is, let me know. Let's see. Next item I have is this pair of torrid business career pants, stretchy legging pants. They are a size 22R. They did have pilling in the crotch area, so I sweater shaved it and took care of that. But as I said before, I like selling torrid. You can usually find information from the item number that's on the tag, so yeah. Uh, Debbie, I sent in about 40 new tag LuLaRoe tops and dresses. How long till they pay? For thread up? Um, when it sells is when they pay. So, yeah. So it's kind of a waiting game. Okay, this next item I'm just going to give to my son, but I thought I would show it to you guys. It's just this Cat and Jack top. So, there's that. Okay, next item is this Lowell. Just an athletic wear brand. Size small. It's hot pink, so I had to grab it. Racerback tank. Um, next is a pair of cabbie jeans. So this is also going to go to thread up. They sell really quickly. <laughs> cabbie jeans do for me on thread up when I've sent them in and for a better price than what I would be able to sell them for. So I grabbed them. They're just a pair of cabbie white jeans. They're a size two. This is old tag cabbie. And the, the ones that I've sent in previously have been Old Tag Cabbie. So just a thought for you. These I'm going to keep for myself for my vacation coming up. They're just a pair of Ann Taylor Loft shants. Not quite shorts, not quite pants. I saw them and I was like, yeah, those are for me. Um, Mia said, when I first started, I grabbed that Lowell brand on a whim and it sold immediately. It's always a grab. Oh, good to know. I'm not sure if I've sold it before, so that's great. Uh, Treasure Keeps, is ThreadUp like Poshmark? No, ThreadUp is not like Poshmark. You, It's just like an online consignment store. You just put your stuff into a box, ship it off to them. They take all the photos and measurements and then they sell it on your behalf. Um, you do make significantly less than what you would had you just sold it yourself. However, you don't have to do any of the work, so... But then you have to just keep in mind your cost of goods. It's not going to be worth it for you if you pay like, you know, $5 for an Ann Taylor Loft item. 
and then you send it to them, you're probably only gonna get $5 back. So just me guessing off the top of my head. Do you use ThreadUp Lux label when you send items to them? Fatima, I have sometimes, and then I haven't other times. So a little mix of both. Okay, um, I'm gonna save the rest of this bin to show you in a minute. Okay, the next item, I may send this to ThreadUp also because I grabbed it for style. I thought this would be something they would be into. It's very spring summery and it's called Style & Co. <laughs> so the style part of it made sense. This is a size medium. Uh, uh, uh. Erica Marie, what's the most you pay for non-luxury clothing? Non-luxury clothing and regular clothing kind of fall in the same bucket. I only like to source for the bin from the bins for the most part, unless it's just a special occasion. <laughs> um, but I don't go to regular thrift stores anymore. I was going to Goodwill uh, and Value Village to source for items. However, I was paying more than I wanted to. I was probably paying on average about $3 or more for an item. And I just felt really salty when I would get offers. You know, maybe an offer would be for like $15 and it's like, gosh, I paid $3 for that plus all the time that I put in and the work and everything. So that's why I like shopping at the bins now because on a bad day I pay $1.59 a pound and on a good day I pay 89 cents a pound. So you have to keep in mind that I'm paying anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar for most of my items. So that's why I switched to a bins only model, but which I love now. <laughs> uh, I really love this dress. However, it is a maternity. I mean, I guess I could still wear it, but it's a large. It's just green and black striped. It does have a belt that comes with it. It just fell out in the wash. So I'll put that back on. <sighs> Let's see. Darren found what you think is a Burberry trench coat, no tags. Easiest way to find authentication. Um, there is that website. It's realauthentication.com. I can't remember if it's real-authentication.com. But anyways, just Google it. I think they get back to you in like 20 minutes. And they'll tell you if it's an authentic piece. Jennifer, you're now only sourcing from the bins. It's amazing for you. You're selling so much more. Yeah, it's just selling from the bins is really nice because it's just you're not paying a lot. And so when I get that $15 offer, now I don't feel like, ugh, wow, they lowballed me or whatever the case might be. So, hi, Gigi, how's it going? Okay, next item is a Forever 21 top, button down shirt. It's a size small. I might send this one in to thread up also because they do like, or they are looking for gingham print items and every gingham print item that I sent them recently, they have accepted, so. I should probably make a thread up pile down there. Okay, the next item, maybe I'll send this to them also because it's just another spring summer item. It's just a Mossimo cute little dress with a smock top. If this was one size larger, it would be mine, but it is not, so. Okay, next item is a Madewell top. It's a size large, just a little striped lightweight tee. Jennifer, what do I do with my thread up credit? I cash mine out, so you can cash it out uh, for PayPal, money, real money. But you could use the credit. They might give you a little bit more in store credit if you spend with them, I'm not sure. Uh, the next item is Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. It is a size small, and it's just kind of this little silky, off the shoulder black top, which is washing me out. Uh, next item is a pair of J. Crew chino shorts. They are a size eight. I kind of thought about sending these to thread up, but I'm like, you know, it is short season. I should probably just sell it myself. So I will maybe just do that. And it's super easy to photograph. So <laughs> uh, this is one of three pairs of Zell leggings that I picked up which was kind of exciting. They're all in really great condition. They're just black Zella leggings. They've got a little bit of fuzzies on them because they were in my dryer, so I'm gonna lint roll them. I believe they're all size large. You can find it in the little secret pocket that's on the waistband. This one's a size large. I think they're all size large and they're in great condition. I don't know who, how I scored three in a row, but yeah. Um, let's see. Purple tulip, you have nothing nicer. Oh, that's 
sucks. I'm sorry. Is that, you mean at your bins you have nothing nice there or just in general? Uh, this is Zella. I do like picking up Zella. This is a size medium athletic top. Okay, the next one is, talk about fast fashion. This is a crazy fast fashion brand in my opinion. It's called Shein. If you've never gone to their website, it's just Shein.com. I will fully admit I've purchased from them before. This is a size medium. Anyways, it's, I don't know where they're based. I actually think they're based out of California, but for sure all the clothes are being made overseas somewhere and they just pump out new styles every single day. So anyway, it's like a one shoulder top waffle knit. But the thing is, is that when I've listed items from them, it's sold. So people are buying it. I didn't think people would buy it, to be honest with you. Next is this Lululemon sports bra. There's the little sticker there. There is no sticker dot in here. I did look to see if I could find the size, so I'm just gonna have to measure. Unfortunately, it looks really small, like a zero or a two, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Debbie, you gotta drive 45 minutes for one Goodwill in your area. Oh, that's rough. Okay, the next item I have is just an Old Navy top. Just a cute little lightweight Old Navy top. This is a size medium. I thought maybe that said kids. Ah, oh, my notifications keep popping up. Okay, next item I have. Hey, Savannah, how's it going? Okay, you guys, Savannah just posted a Goodwill outlet haul from this past week. I think she just posted it the other day. You guys have to go watch. It's insane. I mean, watch after this video, but go watch. She posted an insane haul. Um... Jennifer, do I sell directly? Might be interested in the Lulu bra for my daughter. I do. So my email is elduchothrift at gmail.com. E-L-D-U-C-H-O, thrift at gmail.com. Just email me and tell me all the items, and then I will sell them to you. <laughs> Savannah, watch Denali first. <laughs> Savannah, are you pulling your shipping right now? I know that I've joined you while you pull shipping before, so. Yeah, Stacy, did you watch Savannah's video, that off-white skirt? Woof. Okay, the next item, this is Brass Plum, which is a Nordstrom house brand. It's a size large. And again, this is an item I felt like kind of keeping for myself and then I would resell. It's just like a halter style neck. You can't really see it. It's real pretty, but I don't know if I have an occasion to wear it. So maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll just sell it. Oh, Savannah's listing her bin goodies. All right, well, you guys gotta jump on it if you want anything that she grabbed. She got like tons of Lululemon. I mean, Denver, man. So rich with good things and maybe just rich in general. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Th thank you, Savannah. Thumbs up the video, you guys, if you're enjoying this. Um, this is a Vince Camuto skirt. It's just a size medium, just a little stretchy pencil skirt with this. I don't know. What do you call this print? It like is like a faux lace. Okay, next item are a pair of Lane Bryant shorts. These are a size 24. I found this one bin and it was just all plus size items and nobody was grabbing them and they had been out for a while and some of the items were new with tags. So I went to town on it and I grabbed all the really great items. So I may list these myself or I may send them to thread up. I'm gonna throw them in my thread up pile because they have accepted Lane Bryant items that I've posted before or sent them before. So okay. The next item is, I think these are 501s. Oh, I don't know if they're 501s. However, actually it looks like they say 560 or something like that. However, they are orange tab. So if you've never seen these before, as opposed to a red tab, they are orange tab Levi's. And those are sought after more. And these are in pretty good condition. I just sold a pair of orange tab jeans. I didn't sell them for a lot. And I think maybe because they have flaws, but I sold them for like 20 bucks just the other day. So yeah. Uh, AZ, do I pay an employee to help you post? Yes, I do have a VA, which I keep saying I'm gonna do a video on. I'm gonna do a video on it. Uh, uh, um, let's see what else I got. Okay, next item is a pair of Torrid jeans. These are the boyfriend fit and they have some heavy embellishment on them. A lot of distressing. 
but I kind of thought they were fun. And you know what I realized recently? I like listing jeans. I don't know if that's weird, but I, I like, not listing, I like photographing jeans. If I could just photograph jeans, I know it's weird to say, but I think I would. Um, so they're size 18, and yeah, this might this may have been in that bin of plus size items. Do you guys like photographing jeans? Is that just me? What's your favorite thing to photograph? Let me know. McKenna, you like jeans also? There's just something about jeans. I feel like they're you just put them in there. You don't have to shape it because I'm doing flat lays. You don't have to shape it too much. I don't know. It feels easy. Okay, next are a pair of Citizens of Humanity jeans. I don't usually grab these. Nothing against them, but these were in really nice condition. They're a size 26. I don't know if it says what style. Sometimes they do. Oh, they are the Bridget low waist, straight leg. Yeah, they're just in really nice condition. Like they almost kind of feel brand new. So I'll grab them. Savannah, you like photographing shoes? Uh, that's true. Once I get going, I just don't love the cleaning of them. But you like the cleaning of them, which is awesome. <laughs> you come clean my shoes. Um, Alyssa, you like doing sh shoes, jeans, and purses? Yeah, I don't mind purses also. There must be a trend. What is it about these three? What makes them easier? I'm not sure. Echo Sky Horse, you like doing tops? Simple ones? <laughs> Debbie likes doing jewelry? Yeah, jewelry could be fun. Okay, I think this is another pair of Zella leggings. Let's see, we'll probably see on the inside here. Yep, another pair of Zella, size large. The material on these ones feels different. A little more, mm, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Let's, let's literally look at what the word I'm looking for is. The other ones feel a little more cottony, and these are polyester spandex. So it must be the polyester that I'm thinking, so. Yeah, Laura likes shopping. You know what, funny thing, I like the shopping part too. That's strange, I'm sure nobody else enjoys that part either. <laughs> um, Stacy likes the getting paid part. Yeah, that, also the getting paid part, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> the selling part, yeah. Um, this is a Gap 1969 denim wrap skirt. It looks a little funky because I have it kind of all untied, but it's like a midi length denim wrap skirt so there's that lauren shopaholic not you lauren no i would have never guessed um Alyssa, does anyone know fabletics has hidden size tags you know i didn't find one on a pair of leggings that i just sold recently so in my recent experience no um but lauren says check the bottom seam huh which i don't think that i did so yeah, try, try that and let us know. Um, this is a Lane Bryant Raglan style tee. I will probably just send this to thread up. It is a size, wow, this yellow is very yellow. It's a size 22, 24 top. Um, okay, this is just LuLaRoe, but I really like the print on this one. Again, I'll probably send this to thread up. It's a size medium, but look at this fun stripes. I just, I don't know, I thought it was cute. So, anyways, uh, uh, uh. what else do we have? Hi, Angie. How's it going? Okay, next is this A New Day, which is Target, size medium skirt. There is a belt that goes with this, but I, it fell off in the wash. So, anyways, I do like picking up A New Day. I think they make cute stuff. Okay, these are a pair of, I've never seen these before. They're a pair of youth or kids. Paper denim and cloth, size six. Just kids khaki pants. So yeah, that's all there is. Um, Erica Marie, Denali, I'm a plus size posture. I wanna focus on large to forex only. Any advice? Um, Just list it. I mean, I guess if you have, if you can keep up with the inventory, go for it. Um, but I don't know that I would limit myself personally because I feel like you could probably, probably miss out on some, you know, other, not regular, but you know what I'm saying, smaller sizes. So 
But if you just want to do maybe have a I think you're allowed to have two stores on Posh. You could have two, one that's just plus size and one that's smaller sizes. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next item I have is this Lands and Kids Top. This is it's a size 14. I guess maybe it is. I thought it was cute and I was thinking about keeping it for my son, but maybe it looks a little large. So, yeah. Okay, next is this Victoria's Secret Pink pullover it's a size large it's really soft um i'm wearing pink today it's flawed so i kept it for myself and then it says love pink across the back victoria's secret pink does sell pretty well on both ebay and posh so maybe consider picking it up uh -uh -uh. are you asking me shunk cody about 99 cent auctions I don't know if you're asking me about that. Um, I don't do 99 cents. I have done that before, but I'm not doing just 99 cents anymore. Now I think I'm starting auctions at like 2.99 or 3.99. So I don't know if that question was for me. So <sighs> let's see. Next item I have is Ralph Lauren shorts. They are size eight. I may send these just to thread up because I. I don't know. Maybe they'll do better there than they would do with me. Oh, that's good advice, Liz. Yeah. Go to a plus size party on Posh and see what's trending or what people are into. That's really good advice. Okay, the next is this Madewell Knit Halter. It is a size medium with these stripes. And then it's got this cool like canvas tie neck in the back. What else? Uh, next is this Gap Fit size medium racer back workout tank. There's that. Uh, another pair of Zella leggings. I'm guessing these are also a large. Moment of truth. Yes, they are a large. And again, these feel like mm, maybe more cotton me. Like the first pair that I picked up. Okay, the next item is a LuLaRoe dress. I'm not sure if I'll sell this one myself or send it to thread up. Sorry, I'm gonna turn it in or correctly from inside out to not inside out. Uh, is this the Carly? I can't remember. It's super flowy on the bottom. This rib knit. It is a solid, so that's kind of nice. It's a size medium. So there's that. Uh, next item I have, okay, maybe I'll look up comps while we're doing this together because I did look it up once and I felt like, yeah, this was a good brand to pick up, but you can beat me to the punch if you'd like. It's Chalet and it's a size medium. It said made in the USA, which already there kind of made me think it was maybe a better item. I think it's rayon and it's got this like weird layering in it, but it's just a black lightweight dress, but... I'll look it up real quick while we're here together. Chalet. Anybody know Chalet off the top of their head? Chalet made in USA dress. Hmm. Let's see. Sell Chalet on eBay, Jennifer says. Okay, so Jennifer's familiar with the brand. Um, yes. So on checkaflip.com, just on a very simple search, it's showing me uh, average sold price of $36. Now, obviously, I'd want to drill that down a little bit more so I could find out what a better price. Because comps are a little all over the place. I'm seeing $20, and I'm also seeing $50 consistently on both. I'm seeing $20 and $50. So somewhere in the middle. That's why the $36 probably came up. So Chalet, there's your bolo for the day if you're not familiar with it. Um, hi, Moma Rain. Thanks for joining. Okay, these next shorts are super cute. They are Maeve, and they're a size US 14. That's probably like the largest size Maeve item I've ever found. But they're pineapple shorts with this frilly bottom. How cute are those? I think it's awesome that Anthropology is now doing plus size on their items. I went on their website last night to just peek around and see. <laughs> you want those, Savannah? 
Here we go. They would look super cute on you. But Anthro is so expensive new. So yeah, I just can't bring, I'll wait till it hits the bins. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 uh. Invoice you? Okay, all right, I'll hit you up. I'll slide into your DMs. All right, this is an H&M utility style jacket. It's a little wrinkly because this was line drawing in my bathroom. But anyways, I couldn't pass it up. I like the style of these. I think it's a nice evening, summer evening jacket. Uh, Angie, I don't know on those shorts yet. I don't know, sorry. Uh, what else? Yeah, everything is expensive compared to the bins, Jennifer. That is so true. New to you, Steels. Well, I'm glad you're here with us. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you made it. Okay, next I have a Forever 21 plus size dress. This is a, uh, this is a 3X. And this was actually, uh, I don't know if it fell out of my cart. It fell out of somebody's cart. And they didn't come back to grab it, so I grabbed it. And it's just a sexy plus size little black dress. So I grabbed it. Okay, the next item, maybe I'll send this to thread up. It is Plion. Not sure where this is sold. I'm guessing like Nordstrom Rack, TJ Maxx. It's a size medium, sheer, floral, top. The next one, same with this one. I don't know where this is sold. Do you guys know where Harlow and Graham is sold? So this is a Harlow and Graham top. I just thought it was super springy and cute. It's just this baby pink color. I'm not seeing a size. Let's look on the inside tag. Oh, it's a medium. If this was my size, I totally would have kept it. So there's that. Savannah says, Forever 21 Plus does good, especially swim. Yeah, I agree with you. I have sold a number of Forever 21 Plus items and they're cute. Uh, Ann Taylor Loft, size medium dress. Sorry, I didn't button it up, but it's just like a button down dress in the front. Really pretty colors and prints here. And then it does have a belt, which they tied to the inside of the dress. So that's cool. So there's that. Mm -mm. Jen says Nordstrom Rack on the Harlow and Graham, I'm guessing. That's what you're saying. Uh, uh, Debbie, uh, send me an email. You got my email. So if you're interested, hi, Melissa, thanks for joining. Okay. Next item I have is a pair of J Jill linen stretch pants. These are a four petite. You may or may not know that I love picking up linen. It's great for summer. I mean, I sell it year round, but this is definitely the time of year that linen is alive and doing well. <laughs> Okay, the next is Holding Horses. Again, this is Anthropology. This is a size medium petite. Oh, this is so cute. I wish this fit me, but look how short that is. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a no. That will not fit me. But just a crinkly, gauzy top. Okay, this is super fun, but it's just mossy mo, And I think it's just a one size, but it's just this um, cardigan crocheted cardigan lacy and it's long is very long but I thought for festival season somebody would want or need this I actually tried it on myself so it's definitely like a one size piece because it fit me so yeah okay next item is this I'm not sure where this brand is sold either it's called peach love California and it's this really cute dress with these hummingbirds on it. I believe those are hummingbirds. And it probably is like, I don't know, hits the knees I'm guessing. And it's got this cutout in the back. But it's a 4X. I was surprised I actually was like, oh maybe this will fit me. But then I looked at the tag and it says 4X. So yeah. Who knew? Mm -mm. All right, next item I have is White House Black Market. This will be something I'll send to thread up because White House Black Market does pretty well there. If you're not trying to send pieces there, maybe try it. It's a size small and it's just this roughly front top. Okay, the next one is super fun also. <laughs> I picked it up for style, not for brand. It is Charter Club Woman. It's a size 2X 
but it's this animal print and then it's got sequins all over the front. How fun is that? So. Uh, Keisha, you found a pair of J. Crew capris with embroidered lobsters. Oh my gosh, yes, did you buy them? You know what I said, that lobster print at Old Navy, they said it was selling out. Uh, Mo Moraine, do I steam my linen items uh, because they're wrinkles? Yeah, no, it's not OCD. It They get weird. So yeah, I will steam them if it's really bad. So if I'm lazy, I won't, but <laughs> if it's really bad, I will. Okay, these are still a little damp because I washed these jeans according to the instructions. I followed directions for once in my life and they said, turn inside out, machine wash cold, gentle with light colors, and then hang dry only. So I followed the rules. However, they're still damp, so I need to put them back up to dry. But they're just a pair of page jeans. They're a size 29. They're the Margo Ultra Skinny. But here they are. That's them. The material feels really thin. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be, but yeah. Okay, I have picked up this brand once before. It was from the bins. If Liz is still in the chat, she'll remember there was a pink, a wild pink skirt that was metallic that I picked up at the bins when we were together. This is that same brand, Liz. It's 11 Paris. It is sold at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. I can't remember which one because I did look up comps on that skirt. Uh, this is a size medium and it's just a sweater with this color blocking on the side. It kind of looks big, so yeah. Liz, you remember. I knew you'd remember because we hummed and hawed over whether I should have bought that. We could probably still hum and haw because it hasn't sold yet. So I should probably just put it to auction at this point. But it is a really cute pink metallic fun girl skirt. <laughs> so next is this Talbot's Petite. I may send this to thread up. It's a size 12 petite. What is this? Like a basket weave print? That's what it looks like to me. Wrap dress. But yeah. Okay. Next. Ugh thing of bin of items. Uh, these are just H&M. This is H&M, right? Mm, maybe this is American Eagle. I always forget. It's L-O-G-G. -G. I think that's H&M. It's label of graded goods. Just shorty shorts. I'll sell these myself. Yeah, it's H&M. They're a size 27. I don't know where to throw those. Um, every time I find a pair of page jeans, they seem to be overstretched. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. Is my hair super short in my posh profile pic? Yes. I used to have like a buzzed hairdo. It was shaved on the sides here and then I had like a big pompadour. I know, right? Like that's hard to imagine <laughs> when I'm wearing super cash clothes. But yeah, that that is me um, from just a few years ago. This is a Uniqlo jacket. It's a size large. I, I don't know if it's a women's, but I'm going to try it on. I may wear this for a little while before selling it. It could be a men's but it's just a black lightweight jacket. This is a uh, dab kitty sparkle. What is size 27 in regular size? I don't know, but you could probably Google like jean size conversion chart and something will probably come up. This is probably gonna go to thread up. It's just Morona, but it's a gingham print off the shoulder, button down top, three quarter sleeve. Again, like I said, they're accepting the gingham stuff that I send them. Yeah, Lauren, I agree. I've heard that about the stretch in jeans also. And I do put that in my listings. Um, that sometimes you'll get puckering around the zip on jeans. But when you wear them, the puckering actually goes away. So, but, you know, it's, you know, always risky. Because <laughs> maybe a return could happen. Couple of pickers. Yours, uh, your bins is $1.29 a pound for clothing. Ours varies, so it gets cheaper. It's $1.59 for zero to 50. Yeah, zero to 50. And then, yeah, 50 to 99 or whatever. 51 to 99 is gonna be $1.09 and then anything over 100 is 89 cents a pound. If I said that all correctly. Thank you, Erica, I appreciate that. Okay, next is a pair of Bill Blast jeans. I didn't look these up, but they're just so cool. I feel like, again, Liz, you'll appreciate these. They are easy fit. They're a size 12 vintage jeans. Let's see if I can show you them. There are, somebody cuffed them at the bottom, which I kind of like. They kind of look cool cuffed at the bottom. So 
You do have to keep in mind that with vintage items, the sizing is different than modern. So you'll want to make sure to give measurements because people, uh, to avoid returns, because people will be like, these aren't a size 12. They fit more like a size eight. So next is this Zella top. It's a size, if I can find it, a size. Oh no, this is not Zella. <laughs> this is Zobha. Has anyone heard of this? Zobha? One of you has to know what this is. It's a size six. I thought it was Zella because I saw the Z on the back, but it's kind of a wonky Z. I also thought maybe it was Zumba. So anyways, this is a athletic top. Oh, Lauren said Zopa is good. Well, let's look on Check a Flip real quick and see if I can find any comps. Zopa tank. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, I'm not finding great comps, but it's probably still good because I believe Lauren because she sells lots of things. Um, yeah, good advice, Liz. Yes, modern size is very from vintage. Uh, Melissa, your bins are cheaper and you're in Spokane. That's awesome. I'm jealous. Oh, Lauren, you've got a, a few items that are Zopa. Okay, cool. Oh, tanks will sell for 15 to 20. That's good to know. 15 to 20 is right up my alley. Okay, next is a Nike. I'm not sure if this is a men's or a women's. It's a size medium pullover hoodie. It's super soft, but it's got the funnel neck. So, yeah, I think these look really cool. So anyways, maybe a men? No, that's a women's. That's a women's. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next is a pair of Old Navy, the Flirt jeans. These are a size two. I'll probably sell those myself. I probably won't send them to thread up. Next is another Victoria's Secret pink hoodie. I think this one's a size small, and it does say pink on the hood. Okay, next is, I think this is, yeah, Victoria's Secret Sport. This is a 36 double D bra. There is some good support in this. I'm like, mm, should I try that? No, <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Just in general. Maybe that would fit. Um, let's see. Dab Kitty, you say women's for the Nike sweatshirt? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Okay. Next item I have is this Vince Camuto top. This is a size medium wrap style. I like this. This is probably very slimming. So there's that. Oh, this is American Eagle soft and sexy. And they're right. It is super soft. It's a size large hoodie striped. There's the hood. Okay, this, I may have to just message this one buyer that I have because she bought some of the UW items from me before, but this is a Nike size medium space dye pullover knit top and it's for the University of Washington. And she did tell me the next time I got some of this stuff in, she wanted me to let her know. So I may do that. Okay, the next item I have, okay, so these I've sold before. They're Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren jeans with literally the same ripped up American flag on them. These ones are a size, they're boot cut, and what size are you? Let's see if I can find it. They're a 3630, they're men's. Um, these ones are really destroyed, but I feel like the other ones that I sold before are really destroyed also. You can see there's holes there. There's holes there. This may have been intentional distressing. There's one right there in the butt crack. <laughs> Where else are there? Oh, the bottoms have got some stuff going on. However, I believe I, in similar condition, I did sell a pair for $50 and then the minute they sold, somebody was like, I'll give you more money for them. So maybe pick them up if you see them. One thread at a time. I'm so glad that you caught our my live today too. First day as a full-time reseller, starting off right. Yay, congrats. Everyone give a congrats to one thread at a time. First day as a full-time reseller. That's so exciting. I remember that time of my life. Okay, next is a pair of Hudson jeans. These are a size 28. I usually only pick up the Hudson jeans that have the flat pocket. These ones don't have them. It's kind of interesting though. Look at that. 
it's like they have the imprint of what would have been the flat pocket but I don't know I grabbed them anyway they're at the bins and the condition of them was decent with the exception of that hole <laughs> which I did wash it to make that hole like a little bit tighter because it was a little flimsier looking but after I dried it it tightened up a little bit so okay next item I have okay so this next bag has items that were either needed to be steamed or were new with tags so this is one that I'm gonna steam and maybe wear on my vacation <laughs> it's Saint Tropez West it's 55% linen it's a size extra large it's black it's got this embroidery on the neckline I don't know it's cute Okay, this item, I was just gonna steam it because I was scared to wash it because of the beading, but it's a Lucky Brand size extra large top, so you can see the beading there. I don't know, it's cute. I've said before that I like picking up Lucky Brand because it sells fairly well. Uh, Amanda says the Hudson with the envelope pockets do really well. Yep, this is true, I agree with you. Okay, the next item is a Meadow Rue dress. This is a size six. This is sold at Anthropology. I mean, this is perfect for spring, so I need to get this photographed and listed. It does have pockets. Uh, the color looks a little funky on here, but it's more of like a seafoam green, I think. I know it looks kind of bluey on the screen, but yeah. Lauren, I'm avoiding shipping a cookie jar. Ooh. Yeah, I totally avoided shipping stuff too. <laughs> okay, this I just couldn't pass up. Not sure if that was a good decision or not, but it's a DKNY wool coat. It's a size eight. I don't know, it just looked really cool. It's got this velvet collar and then, yeah, it goes on and on. It's a size eight. It's not the season. I may have to sit on this. That's okay. Okay, next is a J. Crew skirt. I don't know what the material on it on this is, but it's just kind of fun. I may send this one to thread up. It's an ivory, almost gold, ivory gold. I don't know what you'd call this. What's the color I'm looking for? It's not blush. Anyway. Okay, the next item is this Banana Republic stretch skirt. It's a size 12. It's in really great condition. It feels like it's maybe never been worn before. I think I'll probably send that to thread up. Champagne, you've got it, Melanie. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Okay, the next item is Ryu. I believe this is sold at Anthropology. Sometimes. Uh, it doesn't say, but you guys can confirm or deny for me. Anyways, um my friends at the bins rachel and her husband chris they gave this to me her husband chris walked up with this and how cute is that look at that neckline and she didn't want to sell it so i was like yoink i'll take that <laughs> okay next item i have millennial stray how often do i go to the bins once a week maybe twice depending it just depends on how much stuff i can get there like two weeks ago I went like three times in one week but that's because I didn't get a lot of stuff each time because it wasn't as great this is a J. Crew skirt mm, can't see it but it's a size 14 it is a wool blend so again not the right season but that's okay I think it's a good career skirt and I'll probably send that one to thread up as well okay the next item is a Tommy Bahama relax skirt this might be linen I'm not sure Anyways, it's got, look at those cute ruffles on the bottom. I think I'll sell this myself. I'll keep that one. Mm, what do I have next? Uh, Millennial, you had developed an issue with going to the bins, getting too much stuff and not listing enough. Yeah, do you usually list everything before you go back for more? Yeah, I try. I don't like to go back if I have a lot of stuff. Maybe if this pile is real low and I know I'm like working through it, I'll go. Um, but yes, I don't, I don't like to go. I mean, I do like to go, but I don't like that feeling. So I know what you're talking about. Okay. I was excited about finding these jeans. These are, these are really exciting. So first and foremost, 
They are vintage Levi's jeans. They're Levi's for men. They're in really great condition. You can see, but in addition to that, they are orange tab. So, and these are definitely older than the other ones that I picked up. So I don't know the comps on them. Maybe we, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a comp on Check a Flip, but let me try real quick. Levi's for men, orange tab. Liz, you love those pockets, aren't they awesome? Okay, so let me type in jeans. Comps look. Mm. Yeah, I gotta get more specific on the Levi's for men because it's bringing up m more of the first pair that I had, which those go for around 20. But the ones I have look like they could get upwards of 30. I'm not seeing the exact pair, so I'm gonna have to look a little bit more. We do, as eBay sellers, if you have a store, I'm not sure what level store, but you get this new service called Terapeak, which I haven't used yet. I'm curious, Lauren and I have talked about it, so Lauren, if you've used Terapeak yet, will you let us know if it's cool? It is a tool for looking up comps. Currently, I just use the app completely, but Terapeak, I think, has more history, which can be useful for looking up comps, so, I should probably check that out. That would be a good idea. Okay. Sandy, how do I determine what to send a thread up? I'm still new to using the service, so it's kind of a crapshoot a little bit. Uh, I have looked, they did, there's like a list of like spring items that they're taking, so I did look at that and I have been picking up, consciously picking up items off of that spring list. Other than that, I do look up items on their accepted list if it's for Lux items or I just try and keep items that are in season they have a good tip on there that it's like only send us stuff that you would donate to your friend or like give to your friend you know so you wouldn't want to give not good items <laughs> I hope that makes sense um okay next is another forever 21 plus size item this is super fun I want to keep it but I have nowhere to wear it nor is it appropriate for me <laughs> but it's this crushed velvet size 0x which is probably like a 14 or a 16 um green it reminds me of clueless <laughs> or something of that era dress so there's that okay the next item this one i might send to throw up also um because they are looking for dresses this is an international concepts inc size 14 dress and it's got this fun little ruffle on the top just a short little sexy dress so yeah. Mm, okay, I'm gonna add that over there. This has a tie that's come loose, but this is misguided, which I believe I've sold before. This is a size four. That's misguided, right? Am I getting that right, guys? I'm pretty sure it is. But anyway, it's just like this little crop top thing. <laughs> so I will sell that. Okay, this is super fun. This is a cherry print dress. It is, the brand is Robbie B. It's a size 12 and it's sleeveless. It buttons down the front and then has these like little ties that come across here. It's a maxi. I tried it on last night cause I wanted to see if it fit me but it was a little tight around the chest. So if, I, if it was a 14, we would have this in the bag but yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Um, let's see. Debbie, I don't know how we find bin pickers on eBay. You gotta find their username and look them up. Fatima, how am I able to process so many items? I buy a hefty amount. Nope, I just have one VA. And <laughs> I love my husband, but no, he doesn't really help with processing any of my inventory. Um, let's see. Next is a Pendleton button-down shirt. There's quite a few like, what is it called? Moth holes in here. So I'll list it and kind of get whatever I can for it. Maybe somebody will want it for the fabric or material or whatever. So there's that. Mm, next item I have is, oh, I didn't look this up, but I feel like, I feel like I knew this brand. So it's Jaeger, Jaeger. I don't know how you pronounce it. Jaeger, Jaeger London. It's size 14. It's this really pretty, oh, it's got pockets skirt 
We could try looking it up together right now. Um, unless somebody knows, beat me to it. It is vintage, I believe. Mm. No, I'm going to have to go on completely because I am not seeing what I want to see here. But anyways, it's just this really cute vintage skirt. Multicolor. Um, the next item I have is a pair of new with tags, old navy shorts. They're white and they're in good condition. That is, that never happens. Anyway, oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm, that's a bummer. Well, perhaps, I don't know. I'm like, well, did it happen from the items there? Because I didn't feel like I saw that before. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll sell those now because I was like, well, maybe I'll clean them, but they're just old navy shorts, so time versus money. You know what I mean? I'm not sure that that's going to be worth it. Okay, next is this Catherine's plus size top. Um, this isn't a brand that I picked up to sell myself. I'm going to send this to Thread Up because I think that they will accept it and it will do well there. Um, hi, Julie. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Um, next item is a pair of Crossroads shorts. They're from Sears, apparently. They're a size 6. I'm going to send these to Thread Up. Again, they seem to be taking all the new with tag items that I send them. So when I see the new with tag, I grab it at the bins. Um, these are a pair of Casper Petite size 16 dress career pants. And again, they're new with tags. So that is going to thread up. Um, this is going to go to thread up. It is a Target Wild Fable new with tags top. Little crop top. This is a H&M new with tags velvet camisole baby pink top. That's going to thread up. This has a tag on it still, so I'm going to take this off. I don't think I'm going to send this one to thread up. I'm going to sell this one myself. I have sold this brand before, and it is a good brand to sell. I don't know... I think it has been sold at Anthropology, but I don't know that it always is. And it's Effie's Heart. If you've not heard of this, I sold like a matching skirt, skirt top set for over $100, I think, on Poshmark. You can go check my solds if you want. Um, but this is, it's called the Devoted Blouse. It's a size medium. It's long. But Effie's Heart has great comps. I don't know what the ones on that one will be, but I know in the past. Okay, the next item I have is, I didn't even know these ones were new with tags, so what a pleasant surprise. J. Jill Linen Stretch. Maybe I'll sell these ones myself because I love selling linen. Uh, I didn't say what size those are. I apologize. It is a large. Okay, the next item is, again, going to go to Thread Up. The brand is Apartment 9, which I believe I've sent them before. This is a size medium. It's new with tags, lightweight, bell sleeve, three-quarter sleeve top. Um, these are super fun, and they're plus size, which is exciting. It's Old Navy. They're tropical print. What size are they? I better rip that tag off. They are a size 30. So it's this tropical print pant, possibly a capri. So I'm going to send those to thread up. The next pair of pants, again, are going to go to thread up, and they are, again, apartment 9. They're size 14, a dark wash. Ooh, wide leg, very wide leg, with almost like a sheen to them. And another Wild Fable item that I will send to thread up. This is super cute. Again, another cropped striped sweater. Um, this I will be selling myself. Comps on this were really good. When I saw this in the bin, I mean, just look at this print. I mean, look at this. I saw it peeking out of the bin and I was like, oh, I have to beat this lady to the punch. So I grabbed it. The brand I cannot pronounce. Pronounce? Vricky? I don't know how you say that. 
I can't say any of that, <laughs> but I looked up comps on this and I want to say $50. It's 100% wool, but it's awesome. I mean, this is the sort of stuff where you're like, ugly sells, guys. I mean, it's ugly in like an amazing way. So, yeah. Oh. Shayella, I'm sorry, Sheila, I don't know if that's how you say your name. Do I put my closet on vacation when I'm out of town? Poshmark closet, I will because of the length of time that I'm gonna be gone. However, I'll turn, I'll take vacation mode off in the last probably three or four days before I come back uh, so that people can start buying again for me and I can ship it out when I get back. eBay, no, I will just adjust my handling time. I'll extend it for the length of my vacation. Putting your store on vacation will kill your sales so bye savannah thanks for coming thanks for joining me um so hopefully that was helpful okay the next item is vintage goth i have sold a goth type item before not this brand it was like another one called i think it was morbid threads i want to say that's what it's called this is a size 28 and it's like a corset but look at that Look at that closure, that's intense. So I did look up comps on this. I, again, I wanna say it was like 30, 40 maybe. Okay, this is gonna go to thread up because I think it will do well there. It's a Chico size three, 100% silk top. I have sent them 100% silk before and it did do well, so. Um, new to you, steals. great question about vacation. You're about to take a two week trip this summer and wondering how long, yeah. Oof. Yeah, I mean, you can adjust, so you could put your store on vacation for a little while because if it's two weeks, I can't remember what the max is on handling time, but I can't imagine it's more than like 10 days or something. Anyways, maybe it's longer. You could put your store on vacation for like the first week or the first X amount of days and then change it halfway through your vacation and um, take it off vacation mode and then it just extend your handling time and then each day as you're vacation progresses shorten your handling time so that does mean you have to go in there and be like doing work on your vacation uh however it will hopefully not impact your sales too much is my thought and then when you come back from vacation you just kind of have to work like three times harder like listing tons of new items so that you're getting that traffic to your store so uh next is a pair of armani exchange 100 linen pants i think these are men's and the knees are a little bit faded, but I think I'll still be able to sell them. Uh, the next item, okay, this is a weird one, but it's kind of fun. It has no tags on it. I don't know if it's homemade, but it's like this chain link halter top. It's very heavy. Somebody put in the thought to put in this felt on the hem. And then I don't know what the... Uh, straps are made out of feels kind of like a plasticky coated but this is just so amazing i had to grab it so there's that okay the next little batch of stuff is just swimsuits and i'm going to blow through it really quickly because we are now at over an hour i'm sorry guys <laughs> um this is just an exhilaration i think i'm going to send unless i have the matching bottom to the item i think i'm going to send it all to thread up because they are accepting swimsuits and I can just get rid of them really quickly. But this is an exhilaration swim bottom. It's a size medium. Uh, and it was new with tags. This one, the brand is Freya. Do we know? What do we know about Freya? There's no price tag on here. I don't think. But anyways, it's a size US 30E is what it says. But it's cute. Just like a little floral one. Okay, the next item is this Coco Reef size 40D. This one's actually really cute. Metallic, black, tankini top. Mm, flip and curls. I'm so glad that I can entertain you while you're working. That's awesome. Um, journey to boss. I kind of answered in the beginning. I just look at what um, what is selling, like what they're looking for. That's how I decide what to send to thread up. This is no boundaries. Where is that? Is that Walmart? Anyway, it's a size 7, 8, one piece swimsuit with the cutout on the side. Mm -mm -mm. Christy Craft. Yay, you made it two days in a row. Sweet. Okay, the next item is another bikini top. This one is Target. 
It is a size, it's Mossy Mo. It's a size small. Bikini top. Oh, the next one is fun. This is Body Glove. This is a size large bikini top. I gotta pop it out there. There it is. This is another tankini top. This is a size six. It's Tommy Hilfiger. There you go. Uh, this I may keep for myself. This is a Speedo size, I don't know, large, extra large, something like that. So I might take that on vacation with me. Put that over there. Mm, this is a Swimsuits for All, I think. If you're not familiar with this brand, Swimsuits for All. They do make plus size swimsuits. They sell retail for a lot of money, so it's worth picking it up when you see it. I have no idea what the size is on this one. Nope, I don't know. But anyways, that's it. Tropical print. Another swimsuit <laughs> top. This is Venus, size medium. There was so much swimwear, so all the pieces that I thought looked cute, I grabbed. Okay, this one I know I have the top two. That's Victoria's Secret. It's a size small. And it has, look at the beading here. Like this just reminds me of my youth. Look at those beads. Okay, the next one I have, I think this is Lance and it's a size 14 top. And another tankini top. This one is an extra large. I don't know what the brand is on this, but I liked it. It's a G. Geometric print. There's that. Um, next one is, I think this is Victoria's Secret. Pink. It's a size small. This one is a... Oh, I don't know what this brand is. I've seen it before. It's extra large. Is that Kmart? Walmart? It's an extra large. Sorry, I already said that. Bikini top. That's what it looks like. Next is another Victoria's Secret. This is a size small top. And next is a Marona Tankini. Oh no, it's a one piece. Size small. This one's super cute. There's that. Oh, Kohl's. Okay, thank you guys. This is a swim skirt. I might keep this for me if it fits. If I can figure it out. I think it's a size 16 or an extra large. It's a 16. Island Escapes. Not sure where Island Escapes is sold, but can't go wrong with a swim skirt. The next one I have is another swimsuits for all. It says that this is a two piece. Obviously I don't have the bottoms for it. It's a size 26 and it's just a tank. I feel like, uh, do I have a bottom for this one? This is LOL. L-O-L-E, which I grabbed something of theirs earlier. Size small. Next item is, I have no idea what that says. What do you think that says, guys? No, we can't see. But it's just a little bikini top. <laughs> Floral. Okay, this one is like a vintage bikini or swimsuit. It's Catalina, it's a size 16. And it's got the swim skirt on it. This one's real cute. This one needs to be tied up. But it's another Victoria's Secret. I found so many Victoria's Secret ones. Size small, tie-dye. Tie-dye is in right now, so that's awesome. Another Victoria's Secret top. This is just a plain black one. A size medium. I think I have the bottom for this one also. It is ANA, A New Approach, and it is a gingham print bikini top. <laughs> That's not what the cups are supposed to look like, but you know, use your imagination. This one's Forever 21. I have no idea what size it is because it doesn't say. Mm, that kind of looks like a medium or a large, if I had to guess. Victoria's Secret is making swim again. Good to know, because yeah, I thought I had heard that they stopped. Again, a new approach. Here's the bottoms for that item. That one's a medium. Um, Land's End skirt. This is a size 10 with the shorts built in. What's this one? 
this one is tied up so small it looks really funny it's a size small <laughs> it does get bigger but it's Victoria's Secret if I didn't say that already um I think these are the bottoms to that lol set yeah so size small I love the what ruching there in the back on the seam oh look I have the top to that tie-dye set or bottoms those are size small and here is the top to that reminds me of my youth Victoria's Secret one I think it's a small there's that and then I thought I had a match to this this one is Gotex maybe not size 10 bottoms and then I did have one swim top here that I had set to the side Catalina I think this is Walmart it's a size extra large there's that I think the only thing I didn't show from the beginning was this mountain hardware jacket which comps on mountain hardware are good this is a women's size small you probably already know that comps are good so that's my haul guys I did it thank you for sticking with me if you did there's 92 people in the chat so I appreciate you guys staying um give me a thumbs up if you like it I've got 28 thumbs up but there's 92 people here just saying I'm just saying that button's right there um do you guys have any questions before I go second chance gypsy are you going to send the new attack swimsuits to thread up or just any of them maybe main, just list any of them um I'm going to keep some and I'm gonna list some like I said I think I'll keep the ones that are I have the matching top and bottom not that I would say don't sell mismatched pieces absolutely do it it's just a lot of them and I don't want to deal with all of them so that's my thought yeah um thank you Tracy thank you Jennifer thanks Lauren Thanks, Monty. I feel like I was going to say something. Oh, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I am L Ducho Thrift there, E L D U C H O Thrift. I'm doing a diet bet challenge. If you guys want to join in, if you're not familiar with diet bet, I think it's just dietbet.com. But, um, you know, it's almost summer and I want to lose a little bit of weight. So, um, you have one month you enter this challenge and you lose like four percent of your body weight which works out to be like one and a half to two pounds for most people so if you guys want to join my diet bet I started one just for resellers I think there's like seven people in there right now and the pot is at $245 so basically if you meet your goal you get your money back and then you have the potential to win some of the losers money hopefully everybody wins um, but anybody who doesn't meet their goal you split the rest of the pot together so you lose some weight you win some money um, it's not sponsored I don't make any money for telling you this I just want some motivation and I want to do it with other people so it'd be fun if you joined in and did it with me um, I do have the link in my Instagram stories but I'll also update this video description later and I'll add it in there so if you want to join please do it starts today um, and don't let that scare you it's not too late to start today um, I actually think they let you join up to two weeks into the challenge so yeah so if you want to join that would be awesome yeah treasure keeps its dietbet.com I wish I had the link to give you right now but I don't so I'm sorry just go to my if you're not following me on Instagram it's in my Instagram story with like a little swipey uppy thing so mm, let's see what else yeah, join Treasure Keeps. It'll be fun. Like I said, the pot is at 245 bucks. So if you join, it'll be at $280. So yeah, I'm trying to think if I have any other questions to tell you guys. Bye, Patty. Thanks for coming. Diane, I think it starts today. But I don't know, maybe it starts tomorrow. <laughs> I'm mentally ready. I have a muscle milk going right now. So <laughs> this is what I was keeping by my side in case I'm thirsty. Love her style. You should totally join. It'll be fun. And I'm going to do it while I'm on vacation, guys. So whether that's a smart decision for me or not, you know, and I'm going to go on a cruise for some of my vacation, which is like all you can eat. I'm hoping that I can counteract all that with a lot of walking that you tend to do on vacation. And hopefully I can hit up the gym on vacation. But yeah, so not sure if I'm making a smart decision, but... <laughs> But you know, there's no time like the present. I don't like waiting to do things. I just want to jump right in. I want to lose some weight. I want to feel a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I am brave for doing it on a cruise. Um, 
But yeah, you know, doing flat lays, um, my back will hurt a lot. And I know it's because I'm carrying a lot of weight in my core. And I feel like my stomach is kind of like the first area to slim down when I do lose weight. Well, one of the first areas, but yeah. So anyways, I could use the 4% off my body. Um, treasure keeps, you do send in your current weight. Um, so all that they require is that you take a picture of yourself in, you know, maybe like shorts, pajama shorts or something in a t-shirt in front of a full length mirror. They ask you to like write a little word on the ground so that they can like verify that it's you and that it's not somebody else. And you take a picture of the scale. It's not that hard. It sounds complicated, but it's two photos that you send in like one full length one and then one of your feet on the scale with your current weight. So that's all it is. And then they ask you to do the same thing at the end of the challenge as well to just verify that you lost the 4% body weight. So 4%, it's, it's not that much, truth be told. Um, like I said, it's anywhere between one to two pounds, which is like safely what doctors say you can lose in like a month. So um, yeah, all right, well, I guess I'll go work. It was good talking to you guys. Thanks for joining me on my haul. Um, I'm not sure when you'll see me again. I don't know that I'm going to go sourcing again before I go on vacation. So maybe I'll try and just like come up with another video. I know I've got one on deck, which is a thread up fun box unboxing. So that's coming up um, with me and Oliver. And thank you, Liz. If you're going to the Posh Party Live party, <laughs> to be redundant, in Portland tomorrow I will be there so come up and say hello to me if you're gonna be there Liz will be there as well she is shop L Marnell on Instagram for sure she's shop L Marnell there she might just be L Marnell on eBay and Poshmark and Liz who is again L Marnell she just joined eBay and sold a shirt for $120 last night a vintage t-shirt which is super exciting and super awesome so if you're not on eBay I recommend that you just jump right in don't worry about asking too many questions just start listing stuff put in a title put in a description just get going price your items sell it don't overthink it yeah Lauren I wish you could come to the posh party live it would be so much fun so yeah, okay, all right, that's it, guys. I guess I'll go. Thank you. If you want to join the diet bed, go to my Instagram and swipe up. It's in my stories. And give me a thumbs up on your way out. I appreciate it. Thank you all for coming. I'll talk.